Let's focus on a case from the European Court. It's a case which involved two Polish uh, lawyers. They brought their case alleging violation of their right to privacy because of a libelous online article. In 2002, those lawyers had won a libel case against a daily newspaper on the ground that an article alleging that they had made a fortune was largely based on gossip. In 2004, the lawyers brought another lawsuit against the newspaper because the article remained accessible online through the newspaper's website. And so they requested that the article be removed from um, the website. They went to court in Poland. The Polish court ruled against them. It held that removing the article from the website would amount to censorship and to rewriting history. It was of the opinion, the Polish court, that removing the online article will be disproportionate to the needs that the, uh, were seeking to achieve. They also suggested that the applicant could have considered other options beside removing uh, the article. For instance, they could have asked for the article on the internet to be supplemented by a footnote or with a link informing the readers about the judgment in the original libel proceeding. The lawyers were not happy with uh, the finding of the Polish court, and so they brought their case to the European court. Not, of course, under Article 10, um, because it's not for them a freedom of expression issue, it's a freedom of privacy issue. But the European court ruled against, against them and for freedom of expression, for freedom of the newspaper. It accepted that the Polish state had complied with its obligation to strike a balance between the rights guaranteed by Article 10, freedom of expression, and the rights guaranteed by Article 8, freedom of privacy. The court agreed that the removal of the online article for the sake of the applicant's reputation in the circumstance of the present case would have been disproportionate under Article 10 of the Convention. And it did, did rule that it was disproportionate because a rectification or an additional comment on the website would have been a sufficient and adequate response to the problem that the two Polish lawyers were facing. Indeed, the Polish court had already pointed out that it would be desirable to add a comment to the article on the, on the website, informing the public that the court had found the article to be libelous. By so doing, the uh, Polish court had been aware of how important publish, publication on the internet was for the effective protection of individual rights and how important it was to make full information about judicial decisions. So the Polish court, according to the European court, had actually acted in the best interest of the two, um, two rights, privacy and uh, freedom of expression. And so it ruled for the Polish uh, state and against the, the two um, lawyers.